HE System Technologies is proud to introduce its exclusive line of Twin Tower Integrated Rotary Screw Compressors. Here's our 20 horsepower integrated compressor. As you can see, this is a heavy duty unit. It weighs 2,200 pounds. It has twin 66 gallon tanks, which gives you a total tank capacity of 132 gallons. It has a two stage refrigerated dryer. It all sits on a unibody chassis, very rigid construction. Mike is going to rotate the machine for us so that we can see uh, all angles of the machine. You can see that the pallet jack, standard pallet jack, slips under very easily and, we, and you can move the machine around uh, anywhere in your shop. Uh, it sits on vibration dampers, adjustable legs, does not need to be bolted down to the floor. It can be easily moved around the shop. You get a good view of the twin tanks in the back of the uh, dryer. Uh, there is a, a filter you can see attached as uh, coming out of the dryer. And we're coming around. PLC control. Now Mike has set it down in this position. He's going to open up the uh, the front of it and uh, explain some of the uh, some of the features uh, of the compressor itself. Mike. Okay, I'm going to the panel here. It's got nice latches on the front. Heavy duty panel, convoluted foam throughout to keep the noise down as much as possible on the compressor. As you can see inside uh, the machine, uh, the motor, the uh, the braided hoses over here and uh, the oil water separator tank. It's got a gauge on it, spin on filters on both the oil separator and the general oil filter. It's got a uh, ball valve uh, for a drain on there with a plug on it. So everything in here represents high quality, heavy duty. Everything is heavy on these machines. Microprocessor up here. Uh, can interface with the computer if necessary. Uh, in case you need to remove it, it's got uh, fork slots in here. And uh, down here, you can see the uh, these are the vibration dampers. They got r Buna rubber inserted into them, and they're fully adjustable legs with one-inch diameter ball uh, screws on them, so you can lock them in position. Uh, this is the, uh, the electrical panel side of the compressor unit. Here's the, uh, the ventilator for the intake vent. It exhausts air out to the top. I'm going to remove the panel. Show you the inside. Again, there's more convoluted foam on the inside here. Um, and while, while this is off, you can see the side of the motor, and there's, a, there's one screw to adjust belt tension, and it's spring-loaded, so as the uh, uh, belt uh, wears, uh, it'll automatically adjust for the most part, within reason. Okay, and up here, there's another compartment for the uh, controls. You can see the quality of the wiring, relays, and so on. This particular unit has a three-phase dryer, so there's a, a three-phase uh, component over here um, for the uh, circuit breaker for that, for that dryer. screws in, on the side instead of latches because they don't want uh, maintenance people to be constantly or easily getting into something that they may not know anything about. Okay, I'm going to go to the rear of the machine again and uh, screws in the back because this is uh, not something you always have to open up. more 
more the uh, convoluted foam. That's why these compressors are so quiet besides the heavy construction. Um, here's the, uh, the back of the unit. You can see the uh, rotary screw itself, pulleys. Uh, here's a spin-on oil filter over here. You look up here, you can see that uh, there's a, a heavy-duty motor for the exhaust fan. These are high-volume fans, and they have uh, cooling on the motor uh, as well. So every point is taken up. This over here, by the way, is an electrical cord that we just put out of the way for now. All right. Okay, we're going to turn the unit on. You can hear how it runs, how it sounds. It just turned on to load the compressor now. It's a soft start unit. It saves energy when it soft starts and also saves uh, the motor light. The air charging the tanks. It's reached uh, pressure fully now. going up on a ladder right now to uh, show the top of the unit. It's very important how compressors exhaust air so it doesn't blow on uh, any of the work you're working on. Just blows straight up in the air, which is a excellent, the best way to exhaust out. You can actually heat your building with this air if you wanted to put a duct on there. Uh, but you can see the substantial uh, uh, radiator and grid area that it has. The fan will probably be turning on any second here. It's very quiet, and very high output uh, fan. Just walking around the unit so you can get a good look at everything. The dryer, the two-stage dryer, has a pre-cooler in there. So there's no problem with that. Besides the twin tower system, the dual air tanks really uh, trap a lot of the condensate before it goes to the dryer. Right now the fan is blowing, you should be able to hear it. Uh, we're going to go by the intake side of the compressor. And uh, out the top we'll get closer. Here. Substantial amount of air rushing out of there. The most unique compressor system on the market. And we think one of the best. Well thanks for viewing our video and taking the time to learn about our uh, exclusive Twin Tower integrated uh, compressors. If you have other questions, give us a call at 630-537-1219. Thanks again.